Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back. Today is wrap around belly band day with a bit of a review on these. Acrylic dual tip markers by Artistro. Um, my sister kindly, generously, lovingly gifted these to me for an early birthday present and I am enamored. There's 24 of them in this pack but what I really love, there's a couple things I really like about these um, you've got the addition of the chrome pens, chrome colored anyways. These are actually oil based. The other ones are water based. So yeah, it says oil based on these two. So they have a bit of an odor. I don't mind it. But what I really love about these is the dual tip um, what will show up nicely for you. Maybe the white. Look, a nickel. <laughs> um, so over here. And two, I don't know how this works. I, I haven't experimented. I haven't done any research, but apparently with this one, you can exchange the round tip, which is this one. You can exchange this tip for a chisel tip, which is even wider, which would be then great for like doing posters or calligraphy. Um, this one I use, this tip I use for drawing, and then this one, this tip I use for, um, this fine tip, I use this for like highlights, and um, I'll show you here what I did. I got music paper and I started drawing, and I also got this idea for the flowers from my sister. Um, not sure where she got it from, but anyways, I picked music paper to draw these on, and some of the acrylics are not quite opaque, so you can see some of the music paper in the background, which is fine. I don't mind that. Um, some of them are opaque, though, and cover up everything, like this one green here in the back behind the leaves it pretty much covers everything um the only thing I'm not crazy about with this set is their coloring system they have the the chart of colors in the back and to me the the names of the colors are not what the color looks like for the most part. Um, watermelon pink is extremely bright. I would not say that it looks like watermelon at all. More like bubble gum. Uh, but I guess they have to keep their names original. I don't know. But it's not a big deal. You just have to get to know your colors and what you're looking for. So I would say the colors on the actual pen. Because you can see... You can see the color through and of course once you've opened and activated you get a better better indication of what colors in there but yeah the chart itself not overly helpful for me but yeah I do enjoy using these and I think a replacement set will be in order eventually and who knows by by then what kind they will have but yeah 
So these were on Amazon and a little bit pricey, but from what I can tell, they're worth it because they're acrylic. Um, yeah, once you get it on something, it's not going to easily come off. So anyways, my project for today, I just started making belly bands. And then, um, well, I just started making strips with these flowers on music paper. Then I got the idea to make a belly band. But the music paper is a bit thin, so I did back this with something. Now, normally that would not show. However, well, it's still not going to show with what, what the plans that I have. What I want to do is make a... See, this is your typical belly band there. What I want to do is a, a belly band that will... Go over like a wrap around. There we go. I want to make a wrap around belly band, and for that, I wasn't quite sure. I haven't actually made one yet. This is just all in the prep. So the reason I chose music paper was because I knew it would have to go over. So then. Just pick whatever. I mean, you don't have to decorate your pages this way. You could do whatever you like. Then to make it a wrap around, if you're using like 12 by 12 paper, you might. No, I don't think it would be long enough. You'd have to use some kind of paper that's actually gonna um, be able to I think the whole point of this would be so that you could, um, you know, slip it off and on. So let me first ink these. And I'm going to round my corners too. It just seems to neaten them up a little bit. Okay. Then I have to decide how I'm going to attach these. That one didn't quite get in there good. Okay. I'm going to turn that that way, and I'm going to work over here. So, I purposely made them a little longer or taller than the page. I suppose I could just glue them. I could do that. I could also tape them and overlap them a bit, just a little bit. In fact, I think I might glue them. I think I might try that after I ink. Sheesh. So yeah, you could decorate these in different ways. You would not have to have these pens to do this project. This idea just made a lot of sense to me because it seems like I'm always making belly bands. So how efficient would it be to have one that almost broken? It's coming off. I just thought it would be efficient if we could make two at once. 
All right, and no, it's not my idea. I saw somebody on YouTube do it, but I didn't watch the video. I just, and they didn't call it wrap around. They called it something about expanding over two pages. And I'm like, what does that mean? Anyways, I, I didn't get it. And then when I studied the thumbnail, I'm like, oh, that looks like a wrap around belly band. So, ta-da. And I'm sorry, I don't know who it was. I didn't, it wasn't somebody I usually watch, so. All right, so that has to dry for a bit. And then, I think for the bottom one, because I'm not quite sure how much this has now shortened the whole thing. That looks kind of neat there because it's inked. If we slip it over. I could probably do the same thing on that side. just do the very end. We don't want it to be too loose and yet we need it to be loose enough to I'm just gonna fold this over once before I glue it so that I don't go too far I just want a very thin sliver. Something like that. And we'll stick that in there. Hope you can see. I'm having trouble finding my frame these days. Alright, so glue on the very tip. Now I could have used longer paper if my journal was any taller, but then it wouldn't have been music paper, I don't think so. I maybe should have waited till it was dry. There we go. And that's why you want stronger glue sometimes because you want it to do you want it to hold. So there we go. It's snug enough. I don't think it's gonna come off. Plus, once you put something in there, it will snug it up even more. So this being our gratitude journal, I'm grateful that that worked. And I've got a little repair to make here. All right, so that is the project. And now for the verses to put in there. Let's see, I keep stashing them places. There we go. I found them. Okay, let's start with this wide one. Romans 6, verse 17 and 18. But thanks be to God that though you were slaves of sin, you became obedient from the heart to that form of teaching to which you were committed, 
and having been freed from sin, you became slaves of righteousness. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there that way. Like so. Let's see. Let's go for another. Let's do this one. I use those markers to make journaling cards. Because why not? You could do so much with them. Yeah, so I don't know if I specifically said, but to make the dots and the veins in the leaves and the petals, I used the, um, the smaller tip. And then to color in, I used the, the broader tip. So that worked really nice. Very happy with those. Okay, so the verse for here. 1 Timothy 4, verses 4 and 5. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with gratitude. For it is sanctified by means of the word of God and prayer. So, I thought that was a great verse. So I might do that there. And then since it is a wraparound belly band, we can put some more in. Hebrews 12, verses 28 and 29. Therefore, since we receive a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude by which we may offer to God an acceptable service with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Did you catch that? By gratitude, we offer to God an acceptable service. Hmm. I don't think I saw that before, even in reading and writing this out. So, By thanksgiving, or by gratitude, which is the same, right? I know um, giving thanks is fruit of the lips and a sacrifice of praise also by the lips. Gratitude and acceptable service. So here's that butterfly paper that I went to use as a journal card. So that will work nicely in there. So yeah, a wrap around belly band. And if it's too loose still, you just keep stuffing more stuff in there. Let's see. I have, what do I have? I have more verses. Psalm 118, verses 21, 28, and 29. I shall give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I extol you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving kindness is everlasting. That is good news. Loving kindness there speaks of grace and mercy all in one. So here's another part of that master board that I made for myself. That's a collaged napkin right there. So at some point, 
This has to kick in like a real belly bend. Because you saw it wasn't that easy to get on there. So maybe for now, I will just take a paper clip. What I could do is tighten it a bit more, but then we would lose the ability to move it much. So I'm just going to angle it. That will help tighten it. And then I'm going to use this paper clip just to keep it snug. In fact, if I use just the paper clip, I won't need to angle it either. So, anyways, so that's the project for today. And here's a sample of some other colors that I did. They're so pretty. I like that they're so bold. And, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy that. So be blessed in Jesus' name, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.